So, now that we've made it to Mira, with the help of the great Mizuti, we're, uh, we're on our way to Parnass, and it is, um, hmm. Parnass the what? The confectionery village. Uh Uh-huh. Well, this is all very, you know, early 20, early 2000 Sonic the Hedgehog. And, uh, naturally, when we get to a new area, the first thing they need to do is they need to introduce the characters. Well, Uh Tony and Tona Rooson are the best in the universe. That's a fact. Okay, I hate both of these people already. How dare you? I'm glad... I'm glad I didn't even have to say anything. Like, I've, I've been on a roller coaster. I, 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 I fucking love this place, and I immediately hate, like, 100% of the people in it that we've met. Like, even this guy's been faintly insufferable. Well, I mean, at least he's he's out of our hands pretty quickly. Yep, I mean, I can, I can understand this guy having having eaten a lot. That seems um kind of an occupational hazard here. You can't be serious. There is a there is acting, and then there is over acting. Yeah, that this Hogwash. even by this game's existing standards, Both of you. Please there's uh, so mm. waiting for your new recipe. Oh, Lady Melodia! I couldn't possibly choose between the pastries you make. Both of you are so talented. Please. Also, I can't ever be completely you certain about this me. stuff, but uh, I have the feeling that uh, neither of those are real pastries. Words, if you come up with anything new, get it to me as soon as possible. I'm such a greedy girl. Um? Once my new pastries are finished, I will deliver a platter full immediately. Look, you she's making them shut me. up for the most part. Just, just roll with it. How wonderful. I can hardly wait. Have a nice day, both of you. What the fuck is going on in this town? Why does this lady sound so much like Jella? Thank you, Darkwing Traveler. I appreciate your help. That's Lady Melodia, granddaughter of Duke Calvin. You know, if anybody was going to exposit at us, could it like not be you? I entirely agree. Now she lives alone with her grandfather, Lord Calvin. Like, okay, just write a note and then let us get the hell out. So pure of heart. She is simply wonderful. Now back to the oven. Can't keep Lady Melodia waiting now, can we? How right you are! Like, you specifically, Tosoko. Fuck you! You just wait and I quite agree. Up. Lady Melodia will fall head over heels for my next recipe. Like, what I wouldn't give to see no, this guy's voice direction. She'll fly to the heavens when she tastes my new pastries. Like, does it just say in the margins, like, in the voice of the world's most punchable man? Like, what... What do they have to tell somebody to get them to make sounds like that? 
I assume that it was intended to, like, they probably had some kind of note to be like, you know, overact it in a like kind of a campy way, but like that dude took took that note and went to like twelve. It's been a while, hasn't it? Almost two years since you left. Thankfully, as far as I'm aware, that's the last time we ever actually have to hear them talk. My, how time flies! I am indescribably relieved. It's great to see you. You look well. Yeah. I guess so. What's with the outfit? Ah, Callus. Oh, you mean this? <laughs> You're talking to an apprentice pastry cook under the great master Tisoko. Wow, you a pastry cook? Say, Trill, I've been meaning to ask you something. Oh no, I did it again. Sorry, Callus. We have a lot of catching up to do, but I'm way too busy right now. Hey, why don't you help me out a little? Please? Why me? Come on, Callus. Just a small favor for an old friend? Besides, I bet you're full of questions. So, please? All right. So what should I do? Hmm, let me see. We'll be needing some Mira chocolate. Master Tisoko really needs some for his latest recipe. But Donella across the street bought it all up and the next shipment won't be in for a while. Could you stop by Donella's bakery and ask the people there if they could spare a little? Uh -huh. uh -huh. the, the problem is that I already don't care. Think she'd actually give you some? How how could you not care well, about the plight of Callus's childhood friend Trill? Just ask someone in her bakery. Thanks, Callus. It's not even that. It's just the whole hmm. dynamic of this place. Same old Trill. I mean, like, okay. I kind of dig the aesthetic, but ahead. only because it looks like they've tried to go for this sense of. It is just an aesthetic, it's not quite like the the, the early 2000s Sonic level of oh you're like literally wandering around on gigantic pastries, it looks like somebody just got like a whole bunch of cheap plastic and made an enormous amount of props and said fuck it this is now a food town, giant apple that's actually an oven, fuck you, we have the technology. Like, look at this stuff. Look at that pot. So that part of this place I like. But, uh... Unfortunately, there's a dynamic going on. And uh, I extremely hate it. Also, what what is happening in that conveyor belt? You know, it's a mystery for the ages. Oh, so those those supposed to be dough. Like I saw them in the in the oven in the other place. I was like, what the hell is going on? Are they like, are they oven cooking entire wheels of cheese? Yeah, I'm pretty sure they're dough. Because from what I remember, Danella makes cookies. So, I mean, they're they're the same thing that was just on the conveyor belt, and we were told pretty straightforwardly that those are dough balls. So Anyway, somebody stuck a tangerine to the front of that uh, refrigerator door. Not entirely sure why, but you know, but they they just put some adhesive on the on the door and stuck a tangerine onto it. Just Okay. Sure. That's, like, the, the least questionable thing I've seen. This whole thing is just, like... Somebody got an interior decorator together with a prop designer and just gave them far too much money. And the result is this place, and frankly, I don't hate it.
Yes, this is it. Thank you, Callus. Master Tisoko's new recipe wouldn't be complete without this chocolate. If only he and Danello work together, they can make so much more and be so much better. I wonder why they're both so stubborn. Anyway, it's really been a while, hasn't it, Callus? Like, I've, I've already this? forgotten why we even care about any of this. Yeah. Has anything strange been going on here recently? Well, Trill said she wasn't going to talk to us until yeah. we got her some chocolate, so... You could say it's been pretty weird here lately. For one, the Empire shows up all of a sudden. There was also something about a mysterious Shining Magnus. A Shining Magnus? Uh-huh. I was in the Mystical Garden looking for Clement. That's something we use in the pastries. I'd heard rumors about people seeing a strange light in the garden, but didn't really believe them. Just another tale, I figured. Then, at the far end of the garden, it appeared out of nowhere. Just like that, out of thin air. It scared the wits out of me, and I ran away as fast as I could. Are you sure, Trill? You weren't just seeing things. I'm not kidding. I mean, living here, I would really literally happened. never be able to trust anything that I saw, so like, know about this? maybe a little bit sympathetic. Hmm, I don't think so. They wouldn't take time to listen to us pastry cooks. I heard they were in a rush to get to the city. Callus, we should go take a look at that garden. It's not far from here, just north of town. I see. Thanks, Trill. Anyway, we could have gone through all of this in about a quarter of the dialogue, so... The pastries I made, once they're ready. Remember to drop by later, okay? Thanks. I will. We are absolutely gonna deliver these pastries to someone, aren't we? I suppose you'll just have to see. I know you're very excited to see the next chapter in the, the saga between... Tosoko and Danella. It's absolutely riveting. Also, I can't wait to find out what incredibly offensive thing they find for us to do with the cards. I mean, I assume we're going to put a pastry in one, among other things, but... That's just kind of background noise to me now. Anyway, I definitely don't like her. Well, that's about all we can do here in uh, Pastry Town for now. So, I suppose our next order of business is to go investigate the garden and see what's up with that shining Magnus. Yeah, that that sounds that sounds real good. Like, is the garden also made entirely of pastry? Is it just like a pastry garden? I mean, that would be pretty mystical, right? I think you will find that the garden has a very unique look. Oh no. 